this is Justine, my sister. Hello. Hello. This is also her setup, but let me tell you what, it looks great. This is my official unboxing desk, and I said, Jenna, we need to treat this camera with respect and give it the unboxing that it deserves. I know, I have been wanting to unbox this. It has been staring at me and I've been staring at it in my apartment and then it's been like a gloomy, crappy day and I'm like, no. We need the world to see this in a beautiful, bright light. But before we do that, let's talk about it. Why? We're gonna talk about oh, it. Oh, wait, yeah, we wanna talk about it. Yeah, we wanna wait, talk about it. Why do you even have this? Yes. Okay. Okay. We went to camera camp, guys. We did. So we went to Condo 2.0. Sony invited us out. Basically, they put on like a huge convention. There are so many great photographers, videographers, some YouTubers. I would kind of call it like a photography retreat, which was kind of crazy because there were so many talented photographers there. And then there was maybe like five, six, seven, eight YouTubers, maybe like 10 YouTubers. But Sony did invite us out and it was so fun. I was already having the best day, but then we were about to go home. It was nighttime, we were packing, I was editing, I was sad. I was like, I don't wanna go home, I wanna live in camera camp. And I get texts from all of our new friends that we met there saying, Jenna, you just won a Sony A7R Mark III. I was so surprised because this was one of the biggest prizes there and it was all picked at random. Basically, everybody had a chance to win. All you had to do was use the hashtag Sony Condo Trip. And I used the hashtag, I used it a lot. And I'm everybody like, I never... was using it. And Jenna, a lot of pictures. And grand like, prize princess. And thankfully it was random because when I clicked the hashtag, there were so many really great pictures and people who were actual professionals. Back to whatever I was gonna say. It was funny because that retreat, I felt like I finally felt motivated because I've always wanted to get really good at photography and I wanted to get into it, but I just, I never took the leap. I did get to test a bunch of cameras and lenses and I was like, okay, I'm finally set. When I get home, I'm gonna make the purchase. I'm just gonna do it. And she was originally gonna get the a7 III because that's actually what, what we're filming with right here on this one. It's true. Absolutely love it. And there are a bunch of differences, but they are still very similar cameras. And what's crazy is Jenna really is into photography and the best part about the a7r3 is it is geared way more towards photography because it does have more megapixels than the a7 III whereas the a7 III has more focus points so it's a little bit better for autofocus and video but all that being said wow. but I'm yeah. so hyped anyway I was so motivated and I was so inspired by everyone and I was like man I really want to get into photography and um, let's just do it it'll also be great for video and then this literally just fell into my hands so you guys moral of the story is if you want something just put it out there in the universe you know that's what I've always been saying I'm saying you guys will make it fun of me you have I think we need to open it okay let's open it break it down break it on the a7 III was the 85 millimeter, 1.4. a really beautiful portrait lens. And now that I don't have to buy the camera, now you can buy I the lens. can buy the lens and we can be beautiful. Break it down, break it down. Break it down, break it down. Here it is. Put it in my hands. Oh, I think I read that this is seven grams heavier than the a7 III. Seven I grams. Believe it. Let me tell you about Whoa. that. Whoa, Whoa, baby! The, oh, I already smudged it. So it does look very similar to the a7 III. It basically looks almost exactly the same, actually. Yeah, pretty much, except... I would show you, but... We're using it. We're using it. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It has a charger. It's a little bit more on the, on the pricey end. Yeah. So the a7 III, I believe the body is what, 2100? It's around $2,000 for the body of the a7 III. It's a little more. No. Like 21-ish plus tax. You said around 2000. I said yeah. 21 and you shook your head. I can't believe you have anyway, a battery charger. So then this camera is around, I think 3100. So it is a little bit more expensive. A little bit. It's like $1,000 more. I can't believe you a have a battery charger. I'm excited because I really do enjoy having a battery charger. Oh. Yeah. So you said that these batteries last longer? So this is a battery for the A7S II, also for the 6500, and you can tell that it is much smaller. So you get much more battery life out of this guy, obviously. Well, even when I was just using the A7 III, it was kind of crazy how I was like, oh, I only have one battery, and you're like, you're gonna be fine. Yeah. And I was. Okay, so here's your charger, which is great because the A7 III did not come with one. 
your little charging cable, battery, and your body, baby. God, look how good it looks. I had to text our mom and had to FaceTime. I was like, hold on mom, we're working. It looks so good, oh my really gosh. Does. So you're probably excited because I'm, I'm gonna share. I've never won anything before and I always just expect Justine to win. So I was like, Justine's probably gonna win a prize because she's just naturally lucky. Not and then time. I'm like, suck it, it's mine. <laughs> but I'm I sure. was so excited. Like we both were freaking out. We ran outside into the cold. It was like the middle of the, well, it wasn't really the middle of the night. Well, it was like, it was like 9.30. 9 <laughs> so that's pretty late for us. But yeah, we like ran. I'm like, oh my God, put my jacket on. I don't oh know, I left my sweatpants on. Boy, it was really exciting and super, super unexpected. So before this, I just used the 6500, but mainly the RX100 Mark V for a vlogging camera. But I really do, I want to get into photography and I feel like I can also use this to make better videos as well. I mean, I've been using the a7 III now for vlogging. I was so super into the a6500, which I do love. I think it is a perfect vlogging camera. But now that you've got this, think of how good Maddie's gonna look with that 85 millimeter lens. Oh, also, yes. what was it, the, the 16 to 35 that we were using on here? That, that looked really good too. Oh, it looked really good. So I need to invest in some lenses and we're about to get crazy on this YouTube I channel. I think what we should do, maybe just one weekend, we go to Sammy's, we rent a bunch of lenses, figure out which ones we like, because I have this really bad habit of just buying lenses, and then I'm like, oh, do you? Yeah, don't. Do you? D don't, no. We recently did inventory, and I was shocked to my very core. Yeah. Be careful with I'm her! I'm so sorry! Him. So I really haven't got a chance to use it. I just wanted to unbox it and talk about how much fun we had at Camera Camp or Condo 2.0. It was really, it was a very inspiring, I feel like, trip. It was so much fun, especially getting to meet other YouTubers because a lot of times when there's huge events like VidCon, you don't actually get to spend quality time with people. So it was really fun having actual real conversations and talking about YouTube. And my stomach's crawling. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I need my dinner. Jenna, feed me. It was also nice because usually we are talking to like a bunch of YouTubers, but this was more of like a photography based retreat. So like we were talking to people who use these cameras for completely different things, yeah. which is why I was like inspired. I'm like, okay, this is really cool. You guys are so good at this and I want to learn. So not only will it help my YouTube, it will also help my personal endeavor to become a photographer. Also can help out my Instagram immensely because I'm well, yeah, gonna because be your mom. You're gonna be over there and then I'm like, it happens all the time, I'm like Justine, Justine, Justine. And then I'm, I go to post on my Instagram, I'm like, oh, I forgot to take pictures of myself. But that's okay, so. Well, to be fair, I really started my career taking photos. Back yeah, in the day. that is true. And then I kind of just like got into video and then just didn't take pictures. And then here we are, it's full so circle. Beautiful. But anyway, Justine, thank you for being in my video and yes. thank you for um, unboxing this with me. I'm very excited to try out the camera, mess around with it, try out some different lenses, and then we can come back and do an official review. Yes, of official. Very official. Maybe we could do some tests too between the other cameras as well. Yeah, I love it. But not right now, this is just an unboxing and I have to learn and take these off. And actually, no, because if I'm using it for picture, you can't hear sound in pictures. You don't have to take those off. You just put this on and it's fine. True. It's like I've never used a camera before. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out Justine's channel. If you have used this camera and you have any suggestions, let me know. Let her know. Let me know. Um, I gotta go eat something because like I sound like I, I just like it's growling like, at me. It's yelling. Okay, let's get your meal and then I can take a picture of your food. It'll be great. I'm very official. Bye guys. Can we do a thumbnail? Should I get the box? No box? Uh, box. I think the box looks good. Just because I always forget to have a thumbnail and then I... The thumbnail really dictates how your video is going to do. Back up. Um, okay, hold it up above. Move over. Back up. Um, no, hold it more towards like closer to the box. So, um, like above it, but like right here.